Welcome to Germany vs. USA. Today, we will obviously talk about fast food. So today, Alex and I decided to talk to you all about fast food because it is the reason America is the skinniest nation in the world. In the world. This is why uh, we're all in great shape. So we have awesome food like this. <laughs> Chicken. So. In Germany, we have fast food as well. Oh God, so you, good. We do have, um, you know, we have like talking, comparing it to the American brands. We have McDonald's, we have Burger King, we have some Subways, and we have some KFCs. But uh, Burger King and McDonald's are definitely dominant. And we do have Pizza Hut too, but also not that many. And in the U.S., you have those, of course, mm. and many, many more. We yeah. have Wendy's, Arby's, Taco Bell, you know, which is Mexican food. Um, we have. Just, just down the main strip, Sonic, Bumpers, Papa John's, Captain D's, Popeyes, Popeyes, um, just ones you've mentioned as well. There are a lot of fast food places in the U.S. You know, Too many of, to count. One of the stereotypes, that is actually true. There are a whole bunch of fast food places and people eat there a lot. Mm, today, every place we went... We picked people, it up through the drive-in. Uh, yeah, and it took us probably five, ten minutes each place because yeah. there are so many people. Yeah, um, it is very true. Very German fast food is, I, um, I tried, you know, I tried to make like a currywurst myself. Mm. Currywurst is, you take a bratwurst, you cut it up into slices, and you put a special curry sauce on there. No, the deal is the curry sauce, you know, it's, that's the best thing about the currywurst. And it needs to be very special. Usually, it's like a barbecue place here in the US. The older and more street, you know, a curry place looks, looks like the better the sauce usually mm -hmm. is. Um, so the curry, curry burst is one thing. Then we have, of course, the bratwurst, you know, which you usually have like in, in like a roll, Brötchen, and then, you know, have a bratwurst in there with some mustard. The best place in Germany to get a bratwurst in Brötchen is Gleis 14, 14 in Frankfurt. Main station. Oh, Go there. it's so good. It's best every, place. Every time I'm there, I eat a bratwurst. Can't, can't help it. Um, yeah, and then we usually have stands for fast food. Like, you know, there's an Imbissstand and an Imbissbude where you can eat that kind of stuff. You know, like, you can eat french fries, currywurst, bratwurst. Um, and our fast food places, you know, that, that kind of stuff is just, you just basically pick it up and then go. You barely ever sit down, except, of course, for McDonald's and Burger King. And, of course, the king of the German fast food, it's dominating McDonald's, dominating Burger King. Dinner. Oh, ah, right there. It's amazing. I mean, I, I attempted to make a dinner here in the US and there's, it's, it's holy. You can't do it. There's just, it's just not. It's, you can't, can't replicate it. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's a donor shop uh, in Berkeley uh, San Francisco? We've been to, uh, but it's just not the same. It's not the same. You have to eat a dinner in Germany. Yeah, it has to be. So uh, one fast food that I love, mainly because it's so healthy, is, uh, <laughs> <it's> so healthy. <laughs> is uh, Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Taco Bell is great. Like here, I don't even know what this is. It's the super stuffed burrito. Oh my God. Yeah. like. And that's also like Mexican food in the U.S. is really, really cheap. Mm -hmm. Mexican restaurants are very, very cheap. And my experiences in Germany, Mexican restaurants are kind of almost fancy places, expensive restaurants, you know. Um, and yeah, our cheap food is, um, I guess, dinner. Right? It's yeah. The cheap food. Yeah. Oh, God, tacos. Taco Bell, if you're from Germany, never been to a Taco Bell, you got to check it out. Yeah, many, many, I, I've met many Germans that love Taco Bell. I'm not a big fan. You're a terrible example, though. <laughs> we do got the Big Mac, which is uh, I'm not really a big fan. Actually, there is this this thing going on that you can kind of um, you can estimate the value of money by how much the Big Mac the Big Mac costs oh, yeah. in different countries. Yeah, I've heard that. Um, which is, if you think about it, it's just crazy. That's just insane. How how dominant you know McDonald's has become and how you know global they are everywhere. French fries, in German, uh, Pommes frites, or, or just pommes. Um, what you will probably see in Germany, and I know Americans are kind of freaked out by that, 
that they will eat french fries with the mayonnaise. Yeah, we don't, we usually just eat them with ketchup, but is that really a German thing? I think, eat? I'm sure the French do it as well. The French? I think so, but I'm not 100% sure of that. But I, yeah, I think I've seen people eating uh, French fries with mayonnaise in, in, uh, in French. And what the French do, and I'm really mad at them, they put like French fries in their doona. And that makes it not a doona anymore. People in, in France, come fix that. It sounds healthy. I mean, French fries are also <laughs> very healthy. <laughs> so another thing we have is uh, Sonic, which what's unique about Sonic is you drive your car to Sonic, and you pull up and you order at the um, window, and they bring you your food. So each parking lot has a little like window like construction right. where you can like talk with the operator. Right, and then you know what they're really famous for is milkshakes. Right here is a strawberry milkshake. It, Sonic is kind of like isn't Sonic like the like the high school hangout for you know like high school kids? Mm -hmm. They're just got a car, drinking milkshakes, and hanging out in the parking lot. At, um, yeah, Sonic. it's yeah a lot of high school kids hang out there. Um, yeah, you know, I'm sure people have seen them in films and stuff too. Like, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times uh, your waiter or waitress will rollerblade up to you or oh, like yeah, skate true. up to you. A lot of times they wear skates, and so it's just kind of a fun place. Yeah. It's a little different. Yeah, we don't have anything similar to that in Germany. So that was Germany versus here about fast food. <sighs> once, a, once in a while, but it's not very good. You feel, usually, I feel terrible after eating fast food. It's very healthy. It's good for you. Makes you live longer. Promise. <laughs> Super Size Me, ever seen that movie? Actually, I was hungry after that movie. I was, I was craving McDonald's when I watched I was, that movie. I was too. Okay, you guys have a wonderful day. Yep, and take um, it easy. Auf Wiedersehen. This is, um, das ist für Ralf, unseren, unseren Freund Ralf aus Berlin. Ralf, nur für dich, ein Baconator. Ich habe ich hab ihn noch nie probiert. Schmeckt? Oh. Oh, wow. That is really good. I can see why you like it. Mmm. I, I pass you one over at the airport. If you meet me, I'll give you one. How are you doing, huh? Hey, where, where are we going, Alex? Uh, best dinner in the damn world. Not kidding. It's Friedrichstraße, U-Bahnstraße, Friedrichstraße. And where, what city are we in though? Heaven. Oh, well. oh Berlin. Yeah. We're going to heaven and this is the Berlin wall right here. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's wrong? Right. Was here a couple times? This is where the best owner in Germany is now. Well, get it. It's definitely going in the book, so I refer people to it. Let me just get the full perspective here. It's closed. It doesn't exist anymore. Looks like it's been closed a while, too.